art lesson. As you can see, I am outside. Um, one, because it's beautiful, the weather is feels awesome, um, and I just want to enjoy the outside. And two, because this project can get just a little bit messy, so um, I just think it's easier to do outside. It's not super messy, so if you don't want to go outside and do it outside, you do not have to. It's, you can totally still do it in your home. So we're going to get started. Today we're going to be making bubble prints using food coloring, dish soap, and water. Okay. Um, I just want to, again, say these lessons are not required. These are just different ideas and activities you can do if you want to do at your house. You do not have to do what I'm doing. So if you don't have these supplies, that's okay. You can do any other art of your choice and that'll be perfectly fine for your art while we're doing online learning. Okay, so also if you don't have water or if you don't have um, food coloring, you can use um, just a little bit of paint or watercolor paint and it'll work just as well, okay? So, I've already created one little concoction right here and right here I'm going to show you how we're going to create the other one and the steps that you're going to do in it. Your first step, you're going to take some dish soap. It can be any dish soap, it doesn't matter what color it is because you're going to stir it up in a minute and it won't even show. So you're just going to take a little bit of dish soap, you're just going to squirt just a little bit in there, not too much, okay? Then. You're gonna take some water. Um, it doesn't take a lot of water. I am basically just going to do a layer of water that's covering my dish soap, so it's not too much. Okay. Then, before I add my food coloring, I'm gonna take a paintbrush and I'm gonna kind of stir up my soap and my water. Um, a paintbrush works best because it kind of breaks up that soap. So I'm just gonna kind of stir it in there. Okay, just gonna leave that right there. Your next step is you're gonna choose what color food coloring you want to use. Right now, I have the primary colors, which is red, yellow, and blue. If you have these colors, remember, you can mix colors to create a new color, to create your secondary colors. So right here, I just use red, but I think I want to make green. So with green, you're going to take your blue. You're going to squirt a few drops of blue in there. Then you take your yellow, which this yellow looks a little orangey, but it is yellow. And you're just going to squirt a few drops in there. And then you're gonna stir it up. Oh, and now I have a really pretty green. Okay, I have two other ones right here because I might do some more examples here in just a second. So, um, but now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make our prints. So, the next part, you are going to need a straw of some sort. Okay. When you're doing this part, it is very, very important that you blow air out of your straw and you are not sucking air in. You're not drinking this. Um, if you do, it's not going to taste very good. And it's going to be really yucky. Okay, So you're blowing, you're pushing air out of your straw. So then you need to make sure you have some paper. You're going to blow gently and you can kind of gradually add and build your bubbles as you're going. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of come down. As you can see, my bubbles are building and then you just take your paper and smash it. And I got a little bit, but not a lot. So you're gonna have to add some more. And there it's starting to go. Okay, I even might 
might want to add some red on top of my green. So now I'm going to come over here. sorts of cool bubble prints okay now I'm gonna fast forward and make some new colors and make a few more prints and then show you all the final product Okay guys, I just finished making some new colors and some new bubble prints and I'm going to show you those colors and show you my print that I created and then talk to you a little bit about some things that you could possibly do with your bubble prints. So, these are the first two colors I made, red and green, and then in the fast forwarded video that you saw, this is blue and then this is actually a purple and then these are the two colors I used to create my next print. Here's kind of what it turned out to look like. Okay, you can do all sorts of stuff with this. You can fold it if you want. And maybe turn it into a card. Okay, and give it to someone. You can look at all the little details that are in your print now and create a drawing out of it. There's all sorts of stuff that you can do and I can't wait to see what you'll create.